Hi guys, welcome back to another Heroes in Generals video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a map guide. It's something I did talk about during one of my last live streams. Uh, uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash deceptivecobras. And pretty much a lot of you guys asked me to do a um, tactician's guide on none other than... Da -da -da -da, that's right, Depot Encounter. The map that you're all going to have to trench through in order to grow your soldier. Well, so here we go. So I'm going to cover some simple four point bullets on pros and cons and if the pro is also in the con i will explain uh in a little bit uh pro number one it's only infantry allowed on this map i think it's very unique i think it's a good take on that fact uh two fast gameplay and i mean really fast gameplay three multi-level combat you've got a basement a center building and you've got a second stairwell um no other map, as far as I know, near a cap is as much fun as that. Number four, you can take APCs and your SPAAs. Now, please note that that is also in the cons section. So, talking about cons, let's get to the cons. Well, con number one, grenade spam. And you all know what I'm talking about. If they added audio cues, all you'd hear is, Grenada, 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 Grenade, Grenade. It's all you're going to hear. Because we all get that one prat on our fucking team that literally straps every bloody pocket he can carry with a grenade and starts throwing them in the fucking thing. Not killing a bloody fucking enemy, but friendlies. Then looks around and goes, where I make no money? That's why you make no money, you spastic. We all know who they are. Just trust me, if I could, I would hit the delete key on their account and tell them to fuck off back to COD. Um, two, fast gameplay slash too fast um there are some times where i've seen depot encounter be completed in literally six minutes six minutes um simply because the other team uh just couldn't get out of their spawn which leads me into the next one spawn camping um you all know who, what happens it's mostly done by the germans and the soviets uh they'll they'll they'll, they'll run around and they'll jump right into the uh, entrenchment on the furthest side to the, the eastern spawn or the western spawn and even into the impact craters that are just before the uh, uh, where the spawn where your spawn protect literally just disappears you're dead every freaking time you we all know who we're talking about and last but not least apcs why on god's green earth do you allow apcs and the spaas on this map if it's an infantry only map one it takes too long to spawn on the apcs they're bloody pointless two you park them out in the freaking open which means you're always going to get that one guy okay hiding out in the freaking bunker who's just going to stand there and camp in the little entrenchment wait for you to pop into the freaking gun pop dead pop dead pop dead pop dead cotton's done it i've done it wolf bane's done it uh, a, a, a lot of streamers Yugen has even done it we, literally, we will just camp an APC on depot and get 13, 14, 15 kills because you guys are just too friggin dumb to realise that an APC is a death trap on this map so one don't take APCs two don't frickin nade spam okay plain and simple now now that I've covered the cons let me un let me explain to you about the map uh, 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 loadout. If you actually take a look at the map, now I'm I'm gonna enlarge the map here for you. So we're gonna get rid of the aspect ratio, and we're gonna do this. Now, if you spawn on the east, you're gonna spawn in this little building right over, literally the eastern spawn. The eastern spawn. In this map has a better advantage than the guys in the west now how do you know this cobra simply because through sheer amount of gameplay everybody knows whoever sport team spawns in the east will literally get the cap first downside to that is the guys from the east literally only have two safe revenues of getting into the spawn the main doors and that one little side door by the wooden crates so if you already know this okay where do you think the enemy's gonna camp by those doors plain and simple so you're gonna have to want to flank around those two doors especially if the enemy is entrenched 
plain and simple if you've got multiple revenues of attack into a building you've got to think to yourself if i owned that building if i owned that cap right now how how am i going to get around it how how am i going to do this how how am i going to get around that rev the, the, the spawning issue well it's simple gargamel pointed this out now you see these little dash check marks that's a railway line and yes there is a train there and yes there is a certain part of that train where a lot of douchebags are going to be camping there with wannabe one-shot kill rifles and we all know who they are that's why they're called mark Wahlbergs because they're about as intelligent as mark Wahlberg. but most importantly if you just flank far far left from your spawn using the forest to come in and you come across the trenches you've got a straight line trench right into those double bay doors or you can deviate left and go down the stairs and cap from underneath forcing the enemy to you or you can still go far far left and flank in from their spawn there are multiple revenues of attack on this map guys and plain and simple the only tips I can give you is if you've got that one idiot on your team who has more grenades than brains, let him finish throwing all of his grenades and not killing anything or anyone. And then just say, are you done? Just type it. You can just type in, are you done? Are you done being a spastic? Yes? Good. Now fuck off. And literally just walk in there with your whatever weapon you're using and again most people assume that smgs like the ppsh 41 42 43 or the mp34 or the mp40 or the grease gun or the thompson is always going to come out trumps in this no i've actually gone into the depot encounter with my gewehr 43 okay with my gewehr 43 and i have actually come out on tops with a whole bunch of kills and in fact here right here skirmish battle as you can see well now as you can see it was depot encounter as you can see it was depot encounter it cost me 1321 credits look at that 13 and 3 guys 13 and 3 the next guy that beat me up top at 14 and 3 and we both had Gavares. look at this idiot down here who went three and five guess what he had that's right grenades because he's an idiot as you can see right here handgun assault infantry assault 13 kills with what weapon <gasps> exactly with my Gavare with my Gewehr 43 Matthias Hetzer who is my recon I did all of that with the Gewehr see with my Gewehr you can do it yes my Gewehr is set up to be a two shot kill but you can do it guys you don't necessarily need a Gatling gun in such a close quarters battle you don't you don't need a Gatling gun you don't okay guys so follow my advice and my advice is this don't grenade spam okay just don't also don't be a lemming don't see double bay doors and walk right on in because you're gonna die and last but not least guys my final tip my final tip if you're being spawn camped stop going out the same bloody way okay your spawn has infinite ways for you to leave so why are you still going out the exact same way only to die to the exact same twat laying in the fucking bunker with your captured mg42 or your captured freaking mp40 or your gewehr or your svd40 or whatever when you can go oh screw this i'm going this way and flank all the way around him and then smack him in the back of the head with a shovel because that's how you want to kill him admit it we all want to hear that that thwack as that shovel hits him in the back of the head and then just for good measure, and you know you do it too. The odd tea bag. Oh, 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 there you go. Just to piss him off. Anyway, guys, plain and simple. Depot encounter. If you're on the west side and you're being camped, flank. 
on the east side and you're being camped, they're usually in the entrenched bunker, right just before your spawn, or you've got that one little dick bag on the boxes near the train. So do yourself a favor, flank left. Just keep flanking left. Keep flanking left and keep going left. Just keep flanking left and you, my friend, will be golden, okay? Flank, use the trenches, kill the guys in your trench, turn around, have two of your friends or three of your friends go into the cap. If you're smart, you will always send one guy down into the basement. Reason being is he can give you a heads up counter as to how many people are inside the objective. Oh, that's a smart idea, Cobra. Yes, it is. Remember, the soldier who's in the know usually ends up staying alive. So, hope this video helped you. If it did, guys, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If this video didn't help you, you know what a thumbs down video is. Uh, video, you know what a thumbs down button is. Duh, bleeper. But most importantly, guys, please leave a comment in the video video comment section down below on what map you want me to do a um, a map guide. Cobra's map guide, whatever you want to call this. Uh, until then, guys, keep your shots fine. Keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out. And I will see you all in the next video, my friends. You sexy, sexy beasts. Until then, guys, take care.